Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Ewok Templar. Recor. We're here. At the uh, Shifting Sands. At the rest of the quest. The rest of the main quest. Now, something happened. I think I accidentally lost some footage. Or maybe I, maybe I accidentally live-streamed it. Doesn't matter, but we're here now. We did a little bit of grinding off camera, and then I got over here. Okay. And I was doing something. But this is actually the main quest mission. And I got two of the parts already. But we have to go back and finish this. We have to go back from the beginning. They introduced the little fart boys. And what's interesting about here is that, like, it appears there's a new robot frame in here. Of some kind. Some particular make that has, like, the ability to fly. But that's not important what happened, what, what mistakes were made, and what led to us being here. What's the point is that we're here now. We're dealing with fart clouds. Menacingly, <laughs> menacing fart clouds. And we gotta figure out how to get over yonder. What? Also, the place is full of burning fire bats. Oh god, why are they so tough? Are they always this tough? Well, a few things have changed. Or at least I don't remember. I remember the fire bats, but I don't remember them being that tough. Remember these guys? Oh, get off me! These weird little bouncing Betty freak jobs. Shoot the blue lightning at you. But they're easy to deal with. Hold on, I'm just gathering this juice. Because what's nice about them is that you just use your grappling hook on them. And you grab, grab it. All right, Duncan's excited. He wants to finish this as much as I do. Because I was over here, I got the power supplies. See, this puzzle's now, this puzzle's just done now, so it's like confusing. I feel real bad about it, but at the same time, it is what it is. We gotta move on. Also, the fart clouds hurt a lot, apparently. I'll destroy him. But don't worry, this puzzle repeats itself later on, so you not like you're missing much. It's about, it's gonna be the same, but different. I'll let you know that right now, when it comes to completing this puzzle, there's quite the issue with like this laser beam thing. And you gotta, you gotta scoot off the edge and then jump and then scoot just right. Cause otherwise it'll burn your top off. It will burn your head off. Right, this is where we first got the first part. Right, smorgasbord of enemies in here. Dodge the... Uh, I think this is unrefined... Uh, what's it called? The stuff we use for money, but it's unrefined. Oh, oh, the juice! Oh, okay, it still got me. As you can see here, even though I've done this part already, it did not make me better at the game. Somehow, my skill has diminished. <laughs> In here, we fought quite the enemy. There he is. He's back. I was gonna say, there was this one enemy that I hated. There he is! See, they introduced this new chrome enemies that if you attack them from the front and not their weak spot, all your rounds just bounce off of them. Because, you know, fun times. He's got these ads that we need to take care of real quickly. He especially sucks when he's in his blue form. 
because he has this laser beam. Go get him, Duncan. Ow. As you can see here, even though I've, I've, I've had health upgrades after health upgrades from wandering the wilderness and collecting the ones that are out there in the wild, he... <laughs> They still hit like a freight train. Duncan, what are you doing? That's it. Switch. Switch. Yeah, that's good. That's fair. That's fair. I just hid for a while to get all my health back, and then hit these special beam cannons all my health away. Because, you know, fairness. That's why I said that's why I said the blue one's the worst one. He can almost one-shot me. If I was a low enough level, he would one-shot me. Of course, he turned a little bit around, so, you know. Oh, what the? Apparently, the red one launches self-collapsing bombs. Well, I'm dead now. So, you guys didn't miss, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna miss the worst part of it, apparently. That's, that's a good thing, right? Literally, what, what, what am I doing? It feels like it's literally designed to slow progress down by literally constantly targeting me and also having its back to the wall while its weakness is on the back. So, like, it's like, it is such an obvious wall that it's annoying. Rescue Duncan through the pipe. As is tradition. Hit it. Hit it, Duncan. Why are you locked? Oh, cuz you're trapped. No good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really I really wish they could defend themselves from getting trapped. That'd really help me out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do all the things. Do all the things, why don't you? Where'd you go? Oh, you're inside the wall. That's fair. Why, why fight fair when you could be inside the wall? I'm just gonna stay in here, huh? You don't like being cheesed. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Where'd he go? <laughs> Get him, Seth. Push him more into the wall. Oh, good. Okay, he has an anti-camping ability. Can't help but feel like this boss is slightly unfair, alright? He seems to be hiding inside the wall now. Your health bar is full, though. That was weird. Okay, yeah, that does that does a good amount of damage. Yes, this is great. This is great. Why can't I lock onto him? him outside the combat arena he won't he can't help but take additional damage there you go there he's dead he's dead he had a lot of health bar but apparently i found a way to cheese him all right so pro tip 
If that boss is giving you trouble because he keeps on trying to escape outside the wall, blow up your explosives on the wall. It'll shove him out of the combat arena. And it'll kill him faster. Decent. Alright, so this is the puzzle I was talking about. It's gotten complicated now. It's the same puzzle, but now it moves. It goes up, it goes down. I think it's fine right here. But as you can see here, you're gonna have to cheese it a little bit. And now it's the same, but now it starts off on the bottom, it goes up, and then it's gonna come down. And that's when you wanna put on your boogie shoes. It's right now. Oh god! Can't see where I'm supposed to go. Alright, I'm dead. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. We're learning to get. See, we're not we're not that too far from each other. There you go. Ah kill the fart machine before you get there. That makes more sense, right? I'm glad that I'm learning with y'all. Okay, yeah. Jump too high. See that's the thing that's the thing for the first puzzle that y'all missed. It was that, that was the thing. You jump too high, you get you have yourself a little party. Now, does this murder me? I can't remember. Oh no, it gets cut by the dividing wall. Over here though, I have to be fast. I can't shoot that one for some reason, so I'm just gonna die now. That's good. <laughs> That's good. As you can see, I feel like this dungeon here is a bit of a wall dungeon. Just saying. Uh, I can kill it from over here. Good to know. Good to know. Is there any more enemies I need to kill before I get over there? Just look around the room. I was doing exactly what I was supposed to be doing, but somehow wrong. There you go. Wait for it. It's tricked me before. This is going by pretty fast. The one that wasn't moving wasn't as interesting as this anyway. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. And now I'm back here. Now we're in a part I haven't been before. Okay. That's moving back and forth, like a gazelle. <laughs> All right, here we go. I made it. Finally, for the third part. Open up. May have noticed there was a couple of open chests that we just sort of ran by because I already opened them, and I have no idea what happened to that footage. I couldn't find it. Like I said, I either recorded it to the wrong place or streamed it for some reason, and I couldn't find it on my channel either. So it just it went into the ether. It's gone now. We have to grow up and move on. <laughs> Things happen. Life happens. Okay. Here we are. Right now. <laughs> We're back on track. Back on track to our completionist playthrough of Record. Here we go. I hate those guys. They're deadlier than they look. Forgot. Gotta jam, slam jam them. Is there anything down there that's worthy or interesting? No? There's something down there you can stand on. It doesn't look like it leads anywhere. I guess there is supplies down there. I don't even know what these are. What are these? Just raw... Just usable materials. Any down there? No. Alright, we're good. Might be that weird money that's involved. I can't forget the name. It's got a weird name. Also, you use it for like. You use it for everything, but it, it, everything costs so little, and also it's to, to like the bottom left. It's such a negligible resource that does nothing really other than exist. Alright. Oh, it's a battery boy. 
Hey, battery boy. There's not another one over there, is there? That would suck. Duncan, chill out. What? Pop up again. There you go. Gotcha. Now, you could jump over there for some reason. But it's way much easier just to come right here. Looks like another cell bot got scared out of its socket. Ah, we found it already. Jewel, thanks for being a part of the tour. Gotcha. Why did they make so many robots want to murder? Huh? Robots supposed to be our helpers? Why did you design them to have the ability to murder us then, huh? Couldn't they have helped us without the, that ability? <laughs> Trying to think of when I would need a, a tiny robot to either fly around while starting fires or release a poisonous gas that only burns me and not other robots. Right? I guess to defend me against the natural wildlife or whatever. Ooh. There's one way up there. You know what that tells me? There's something up there worth getting. What the? Who are these guys? These guys have guns. I don't know why I can't shoot them properly. You guys mind? If you're gonna fight me, fine, but... You have to let me be able to see. That, those guys are new. They fly now and they shoot at me. Turners, E-Turners. That's the resource I'm talking about. To where you just get a bunch of it and then you use a little bit for everything, for upgrades and research. But it's such a small amount and you get so many E-Turners. Like, like I have 29,000 of them now. And it's like 200 to 400 per like research thing or even upgrade, okay, that's good. Yeah. I really wish I could wall. Oh, God. There you go. That one's blowing up. That one's goofing fast. So this is supposed to be unrefined E-Turner. I don't even know what a refined turner is. All right, it's obviously we're gonna have a fight in here again, Duncan. Who do you think it's gonna be? Another one of those silver face boys? No, I just get it. That's nice. That's very kind of them. If I, do. I feel like I've earned it, to be honest with you. Yes, we've got everything. The fights in this dungeon were quite harrowing. There was a workbench back where we found. You the saw first the worst one. one. Let's go, guys. The second to worst one was ah. Oh, well, there it is. <sighs> do it, Duncan. Oh God. Okay. So if I dodge towards it... Just kill it, yeah, just kill it. Oh, okay. I half dodged it. Oh, God. Oh, it summoned another one? Duncan can distract it just for a little bit longer. Oh, I, I just, I have to wait though. Oh, come on. Okay, the blue one died. One of them did. Boss fights are getting more and more. There was something I could do to recharge faster and better. Give me something, Duncan. Give me something. Give me some juice. 
Alright. Now target that one. I'll get the little freak jobs first. Hit him. At least this one's not silver, but still. Also, I don't know why my lock-on just stops working sometimes. I can really use some ammo that recharges faster. Gotcha! I think the combo pot... There's parts of the fight that are easy, and there's parts of the fight to where it's, like, really difficult. If it's one-on-one -on -one and they're not silver, to where they can reflect lasers, there's a, there's a way. But if there's a will, there's a way. There's a lot of dodging involved. You gotta keep moving within these fights. Getting used to that whole burn thing to where you have to dash. I mean, you can keep on da dashing. You can keep on dashing if you're on the ground, but... That auto lock blue laser, apparently the key to dodging it. Uh, choose many cannon cores to place into a new. Uh, all right, all right, I'll put Duncan in for now. Looking good, Duncan. Now we can fly up to the exit door. But how? Is he? Is the flyer literally used for one thing and one thing only? Break fuse, why are there so many green cubes? There's one that tells me to go that way, but there's nothing over there. And there's, there's two. There's one that says down there. Uh, is the one behind me literally telling me to go back through the entire facility? Like, there's, uh, there's a lot of chests I missed, actually. A lot of supply caches. But I'll come back and grab those later, because I discovered that if it's a main quest mission and not a side quest, the enemies don't respawn. So if you want to do your complete exploring and find everything, you can just do it later. Which we are. We should move on. We're moving forward. Alright. Another good thing I learned is that uh, you can replace cores at any um, uh, fast travel point. So that's good. You don't have to go back all the way to your crawler every single time. So that's nice. Did I mention that already? That's a big gap, but we should be able to glide across. We can just glide, glide whenever we want. Come on, Duncan. Okay. So I jump up, hold X, dodge the fart clouds, obviously, so they don't burn me. Oh, good. Another fight's gonna happen in here, isn't it? I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, you do? You got me, Duncan? Is it the obvious combat platform and the door that's about to close? You can try and uh, stop us, but it's not gonna El work. Elda Lurum, a war and sentinel. Shoot, yeah, that's good. Oh, Duncan's locked already. That's good. And I lost a lot of health. I don't, know, I don't even know where Duncan is being kept. Oh, good. He has a range attack. That's nice. Oh, ho! Duncan gets the... That's a super good combo. Alright. Hit him with it. Oh, the flight one's definitely probably going to be one of my favorites for combat. Oh, he's, he's summoned little freaks. He's got little freak jobs working for him. I'm kind of scared to kill them all. Just in case the ads respawn. 
Are they, are they weak to a particular laser? Hit him, Duncan. Hit him. Hit him with the juice. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. All right. He is summoning ads. But now that I know how to fight it, it's not so bad. He does do a decent amount of damage, though. Yeah, huh? Yeah. The problem is, now I actually have cover. I'm not just locked in a small room. Is he silver all over? I'm very confused about what I'm supposed to be doing, because now it looks like he's silver all over. Like, do I have to kill his little ads first? Super invulnerable, and he keeps on spinning around like crazy. Can he only be damaged by the flying one? Oh, that definitely hits his shield hard. That was a pretty expert dodge, in my opinion. What are the little ones weak to? Because it feels like I'm shooting the piss, the mess out of them. You can only hope that it's catching the little ones in there too. What is he doing? <laughs> gonna blast you. Nice try. Wait, so depending on the color of the core I put in it, it depends on the type of weapon they have. What is he doing? Light him up. Duncan, take him out. I just realized I can summon them. Gave it to the boss. I was like, it has to hit you now. Like I was, I was in midair, moving. If I 
just did more damage against these freaks so I could kill them on my own. Nice try. Get him. Duncan, let him have it. There you go. There you go. Hit him again. Hit him while he's weak. He knew he saw me. Yeah, I flipped the script on you too then. Ah, oh, for goo! The yellow one does the goo! Do it, Duncan! Hit him! I fell down. Keep on shooting him, Duncan. Do it for us, do it for mommy. <laughs> Is it weird that it doesn't feel weird referring to myself as mommy? Nice try. Hit him with it. Hit him with the chain device. No. There it is. I knew someone showed up. I was like, something showed up. The goo! The precious goo! Alright. Round two. Oh god, he summoned the freaks. He summoned the little lightning freaks. Take these little ones out. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about your goo. I don't care about your precious goo. Take him out, Seth. Drop it. There's something about Seth combined with the red, the red flyer. You know what, target his little dudes. Alright, it's just not working out. I need missiles. I don't know why these things are so strong when it's the, like the little freak jobs. Out here with me, Duncan. Don't let him to put any damage on any of my boys. That one, toast. Nice try. Your rainbow prismatic colors betray you, a sealed duel. Hitting him. Not today. Not today. It belongs to us. It belongs to the museum. Yeah. All right. I have a favorite bot. This way to the E Tower. Come on. I'm gonna let y'all take a little guess of which one it is. I think I like the flying one the best. Duncan as a flyer. Is a okay by me? I can't. I messed up that jump because you know MLG. Probably sprung. All right, hold on. It looks like there's a couple of loose parts f from all the things we murdered laying about. At least one. Is that all of them? Okay, good. If we miss a few, it's fine. We'll find more. There's plenty of enemies out there. Let's go. Let's leave. I feel like we have some leveling up to do. 
whole bunch of miracles to do them in. Come on, Duncan. You know what it is? Duncan's very close to Doyle. And that's what I used to call uh, the shipmaster with half a jaw in Halo 2 and Halo 3. Used to call him Doyle. He looked like a Doyle to me. I don't know. Well, that's why Duncan gets stuck in my head, because it's like... I used to have an NPC. I used to have a D name. <laughs> like, talk to him all the time. I was like, come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Ooh. A little audio log to enjoy. The cores would be pretty worthless if they just sat around all day. <laughs> I needed to pair them with another invention. Another tram. Let's hope Victor isn't watching this approach. Eden Tower was the linchpin of the entire terraforming system. All right, well, but the audio log got interrupted by the story. Without the prime core. Another mandate scientist. Oh, no, uh, yeah, it really did get interrupted. It just went to the background. And bingo. That's how the core bots were born. First one we made was the K9 type. Somehow. I, <laughs> I thought it would, like, just do something not as cinematic. Oh, look at moons. Oh, Eden has moons. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm just in there. Okay, that's cool. Paradise Central. Get to the E Tower. Is this the end game? Am I rushing this? I feel like I'm rushing this. Where are all these? Where are all of these different? Uh, hey. Let's do this, Violet. It looks like I do have to go back for it to level up. Now that I think about it, mm, I'm probably not near the end. Maybe I'm getting close to it. Because, like, there's only one more area after the Eden Tower. Actually, there's this area. And then it's not even talking about Tyrant's Forge, which requires you to have every single prismatic core in the game. So, ah, eh, we're probably good. We're probably fine. But first and foremost, let's go back and level up real quick. We've done a lot. We've got some good cores out of this whole escapade of mine. Like I said, you guys didn't miss much. We lost a little bit of progress in that facility, but it was nothing. Except for the part where I had to fight two silver, like, gorilla types, and they were whipping my butt, but it's fine. What can we research? I want... Attack. All attack, all the time. 49. 34. 49. But then yellow is higher in those two parts. Except for that. The stinger. It does 49. But the yellow body does more than the white body. But that's okay. Because I think I can research both of these, right? With two sturdy lenses. This doesn't need sturdy lenses, does it? Oh, it doesn't. So, Hoopa Uber Oh, yeah. And Hoopa Stink. And Busters. I can't get the yellow ones. But that's okay. The white ones have a little bit more attack. And I can't get the nubbin of either of them. We're out of parts to make the nubbins. Got it. But it's fine. Look at Duncan now. He used to be a Slam Jam boy, but now he's a Fly Boy. Oh. I can't even use the yellow head because he needs to be level 17. Huh. Well, let's swap some cores because I know someone who I haven't been using. Mac. Seth, Seth I'm going to bring Seth and Seth's going to stay in Seth's body. Mac, I hate to do this to you. And to you, Duncan. Or at least, I mean, it's red on red now. But Max a high enough level now to get the, the body parts all maxed up. Oh well, the zombie does more damage, though. The yellow one does look cool. And has energy. I don't know. Any the other zombie parts? I mean, I feel like I'm getting some energy from the, uh, over there. We'll go with the zombie head, I guess. Stinger, get some defense. Ooh. 
at how much damage the White Stinger does. And the Jets. That's what we upgraded. Yeah, the Jets. And his little nubbin, it has to stay. I wonder if this changes his attack, though, because I really like Duncan's attack. Strong versus big guys, weak versus spiders. Lethal recharge time, reboot time, team XP. Hey. <laughs> See, look, if you look down at the bottom left, it tells you, like, the print cost. Like, to do this, it's going to cost me 1,140 of those Turner juice. But I have 30,000 Turner juice, so it's like, okay. Yes. All right, let's do it. Oh, actually, wait, 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 I forgot. Gotta go to Core Fusion. Uh, Mac is in the Flyboy, so we might as well give him attack, right? And a little bit of defense that's left. And then we're bringing Seth. Is he already has max energy for the parts that he has right now, so we can't do anything with him. And we don't have enough to research any more Seth upgrades now. And even if we did, 48. I mean, that would give him more energy, but we're missing one little pad. I think we'll be okay. We're pretty good. We're pretty legit ripping. Let's do this. Let's go save Kai. Somehow. After this mission, depending on how long it takes, maybe we'll take a little break, we'll, we'll do a lot of grinding, do a lot of side quests. But we're here now in this, in this big, scary castle. Huh! The Empire! Darth Vader! Are you here? Is he silver? Oh. I feel underdressed and unarmed. I'm here to reactivate this tower and turn Far Eden into the home that was promised to all of us. <laughs> I mysteriously Look, don't want that. Victor has misled you. When the other ships land, he will be punished. There are no ships. That's a lie. There are dozens of ships in orbit. My father told there me- There are no ships. I destroyed them long ago. There are no more humans. You are the last. No. Th that's not true. There is another and we- Ooh, that got dark real fast. Can I use this to upgrade me? Can I have a third leg? Your friend is dead. You are alone. And far even belongs Look, his core is black. Give me the prismatic pores. Jewel, if anyone could set things right, I knew it would be you. I'm not alone. Taking Far Eden back. Master of Far Eden. Oh man, is this the final fight? And I just got in way over my head. Oh, start dancing! Start dancing! Oh god, why is he taking so much damage? Oh god, the goo! The precious goo! I didn't know this was gonna be the final fight. Like, it was just gonna be like that. Oh, oh! Fire is mine. Okay. Take the shot. Okay. Really? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. 
Why does it take him so long to boot up? Oh, you could do it. It'd be very hard. Wait, why, why, why do I, oh, I kept Duncan. But Duncan's under leveled. Oh, I was supposed to bring Mac and the flyer. I brought the wrong guys to the fight. Seth can do some damage though. Alright, that part isn't as hard as I make it out to be. No, not the wind. What is that? Oh, I can't see what color they are. I just gotta go by instinct. Oh, okay. Let me go, let me go, let me go. He's making an anti-chrome field. Oh, I, I see what you gotta do. Give me his core, give me his core, give me it. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage too, though. I think I kept the rescue. He's not. Oh, there it is. Oh, he got obliterated. He got goofed. Hit him. Hit him, Seth. I don't like that he dodged it by being himself. Oh, I think I can get him. He's only level 20. He's just tough. He's just built for tough. That's the problem. Oh, I fell into the fire. It doesn't help that, like, he does it so fast that you can't help but get hit by a second one. It was blue. It was blue. We all saw. Oh, dodge. Dodge better. He's getting hurt. I don't think he's blue, but it's my powerful enough in the blue category. It doesn't matter. I could have gotten a lot of cores there, but let's not get greedy. Last time, give me the prismatic force. I think I can do it. I think I can actually get him. Me and Seth Boy can handle him. Alright, he's gonna switch to red. Here we go. Give him some space. Did he just launch a missile at me? Oh, he's doing the orbital drop. He's doing the orbital drops. All right, blue. It's getting tough, it's getting tougher. Someone's yellow over there. I don't know who it is. You know what, give it to me. Give me the cubes. Oh God, I made a mistake. He is not. He's prismatic. No, he's not, he's yellow. Hit him, Seth. Hit him with the device. Gotcha. That's one. Definitely yellow. No, you won't. No, you won't. We don't have bones. We're here. We don't have bones. Do it. Oh, he's gonna beam. He's gonna special beam cannon. Ow! God, I messed that up. Oh, man, I was so close, too. Do I get a checkpoint? Do I have to do that whole fight over again? Oh, I gotta start all over? Are you kidding me? Maybe I'll give it one more go. I'll give it one more go. Then I'll say to myself, I gotta come back when I'm stronger. 
I know his mechanics now, though. I will scatter your bones in the wind. Will you? I told you I don't have bones, brother man. No, oh, oh, it's oh, the goose stays on the ground. Can't get us. Oh, you cheating son of a beasting! Oh, he's got the fire breath. What if there's a way to dodge that? Get him, Duncan. Get him, Duncan. Prove it. Prove it. Prove your soul. The Zoka Q. Complete it. Oh. What color are you? Also blue? I think it makes them all the same color, at least. I think only, like, on the third wave. Oh, Alright, I got him in half health already faster this time. Oh, come on! Jump over it, man! Doing chromatic. Duncan with that damage in the doggo. He's really pulling out the GPS. Oh, he's not. He's not red. What is he? He's yellow. Get him, Duncan. Give him the juice. The amount of damage Duncan's doing with all those damage upgrades. It's coming through. Out of ammo, Duncan. It's up to you. Hit him. We don't have bones here. I'm gonna dodge it. I'm gonna dodge it this time. No. They belong to me and me alone. Oh, I dodged it this time. Joke's on you. Seth deals big boy damage. Ah, ah, no. He's doing the fire slams. But he's not as strong as a boss man. What? Resist? Get him! There you go, Seth. One more. Oh, no way! Honestly, the silver, like, squid one, I think, was harder. I tried to find two of those, I think it'd be harder. He's just a bullet sponge, really. Once you learn his gimmick, he does decent damage though, I'll give him that. But once you learn his fire slams, like that's what really gets you, not to mention the blue laser. I really hate the blue laser on anything. Because if it hits you, it's just so much worse. damage. We've got to get to the top of this tower and activate the terraforming system. If we don't, Doug is up 17 to level apart. 18. Oh. Is this really the end? This can't be and there's literally two different areas. I'm that's an interesting idea if they did do it that way, to where there's like, there's just a lot more Damn to it. do. We don't have enough prismatic cores. We should look for new places to explore. 
and go back to places we've already been ah. to make sure we didn't miss any prismatic course. <laughs> I need 30. I have 19. <laughs> You know what, though? That's a good spot to cut this off. And you know what? I guess we'll start doing side dungeons now. Except for the ones we're not leveled for. I did not plan on being able to beat Victor. But something tells me... I don't know. There might be more to this game. I wonder if there's another enemy beyond Victor. Because that was a tough fight. I don't want to say that was a final boss. This looks like a final boss. I mean, that felt like a final boss. But maybe it's not a final boss. Like I say, because there's, like, there's more areas. Like, this is just... Oops. All right, there you go. <laughs> you don't get a uh, map of the main, um, uh, what's it called, tower. Or the Eden Tower, but, like, we haven't touched this area at all. I doubt that this is just all bonus places to explore. The Starving Sea. Or this, the Granite Steps. Unless that's, like, where the intro area is. Is that where the intro happened? It might have been. Right? This might have been just the intro. I... Doesn't say you can go back there, though, because I tried to go back there and it didn't let me. I wonder if I can go back there now. But anywho. I'm going to go ahead and head back. But I'm going to go ahead and do a cut right here. I know, a little bit shorter than usual. Do I have to fight him again? Because I said you have returned to your doom. Do I have... Do I when I have 30 cores, I'm about to fight him again. I really hope not. But anyway, I'm going to do a cut right here. Uh, thank you all. This has been Ewok Templar. We're going through, uh, what's it called? Recore. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. He can't help but take additional damage. There you go. There, he's dead. He's dead. He had a lot of health bar, but apparently I found a way to cheese him. Alright, so, pro tip. If that boss is giving you trouble because he keeps on trying to escape outside the wall, blow up your explosives on the wall, and it'll shove him out of the combat arena, and it'll kill him faster. Decent.